Hi guys, I know I've shared some intro recipes with you already, but now it's getting really serious because I have my winter cardigans out. It's getting really, really chilly and that means it's soup, stews and casseroles time. <laughs> so I have a lot of dishes in mind already that I'm going to be sharing with you and today is well, another turkey recipe because I think you cannot have too many options for how to use the leftover turkey after Thanksgiving and after Christmas. So today is a leftover turkey soup. It's a really hearty soup and I must say it might even have become one of my favorite soups. We want to start by prepping the veg so that once you are starting with the soup you have everything ready and it's going to go really fast. So I have uh, one onion here that I'm just gonna peel, well first, <laughs> and then it's up to you how you want to slice it. I prefer to um, slice mine into these fine um, slices <laughs> but you could also cube the onion if you prefer smaller bits of onion in the soup. Now what you want to do is to have a plate ready. So I have a big plate here where I can fit all of the vegetables. So I'm just gonna add the onion that I've cut already on one side and then the rest of the vegetables will go around here. Then I also have two garlic cloves that I'm gonna peel first. Now I have a little trick for you for peeling the garlic. So take the knife and just press the knife into the garlic like this. And it's okay if it uh, breaks like that. Then I'm just gonna remove the end and it should be really easy to peel. And then you just want to slice the garlic finely as well. Then I'm also gonna move the garlic onto my plate. Then I have three small carrots. So these are really small. I wanted to use the carrots that are thin. So you could use uh, bigger ones, but then maybe you want to cut them into bigger pieces. And also because these were really small, I decided to use three instead of just using two. So I'm gonna peel these and then cut them. So I wanted to use these small carrots so that I can just chop them like this. I don't need to half them. So when you do it like this, you have different kinds of shapes and colors in your soup and it just looks visually beautiful. So the carrots are ready, also moving them aside onto the plate. And then I'm also prepping the celery, so I'm just removing the ends. So these ends because they're dry and the other ends just <laughs> because they are uh, so big. So then I'm also gonna slice these or cube these. And then I'm also moving the celery onto the same plate with the rest of the vegetables. Then we also want to prep the mushrooms and the mushrooms you can leave aside on a different plate because they cook really fast. So I'm just gonna slice them like this. So again, so that I have some nice shapes in the soup. So then we have all the vegetables ready. I have the uh, ones that I want, want to cook first here and then the um, mushrooms here so that I can add them in later. Then what you could do is to fry the vegetables in a, a pan, but I prefer to do everything just in one pot. It saves me washing up and also I will get all the flavors from frying the vegetables into my soup. So I've added a little bit of olive oil at the bottom of the pot and I'm gonna add in all of the vegetables apart from the mushrooms. So adding in the onions with the garlic, the celery 
and the carrots. You want to keep the temperature on medium low. You don't want to fry the vegetables, you just want to soften them a little bit and also to bring the flavor to the vegetables. You want to keep on mixing the vegetables so that they don't burn and once you see there's a little bit of color on the onions you can add in the mushrooms. So I'm adding in them now and then I'm just gonna cover them with a lid and allow to cook on a low heat for a couple of minutes so that they soften. Then once you notice that the vegetables have softened you can add in the rice. So it shouldn't take you much longer than um, about two minutes for the mushrooms. Then we are just going to quickly mix in the rice and then you want to add in your broth. I'm using my turkey broth. I will link the recipe for you so you can also make your own and use that. Or you can also use chicken broth if you prefer. So I only had about one liter of my broth left and then I'm just adding in a little bit water on top of that, so about half a liter. Just gonna give it a short mix. And now we want to bring it to simmer and simmer for about 10 minutes so that the rice has time to cook. I know I said <laughs> 10 minutes, but now that I'm checking on the rice, it's looking good already, so I'm gonna continue adding the rest of the ingredients so I might need to change <laughs> my pot because I'm close to the edge already but now I'm gonna add in my shredded turkey so you can use any leftover turkey whether that's uh, breast or uh, thigh or any part really so any turkey meat just shred it and add it into the soup also I didn't season the soup because the broth is really flavorful and the turkey as well so i'm gonna taste the soup at the end and only season it then so that i don't over season it so i've added the turkey now and i also want to add the beans i'm using canned white beans that i've just um, run under some cold water shortly and then we want to leave it on simmer and in the meantime, we prepare the white sauce. So we don't want to be wasting any time. And now that the soup is simmering, you can start making the white sauce. So I'm allowing the butter to melt and I'm getting ready to add in the flour once the butter has completely melted. So now you see the butter has melted. I'm gonna add in the flour and whisk it in. And once you've added in the flour, you want to keep on whisking it and just uh, heat it or cook it for about two minutes. You want to keep it moving all the time and then you want to start adding in the milk slowly. Also while mixing. And once you've added all of the milk, you want to keep it moving and heat it until it starts thickening up. So I'm gonna show you that it's gonna take a couple of minutes depending on whether you have it on high heat or medium heat. On medium heat it's gonna take you a little longer but it's easier to control. So when you have it on high heat you really want to watch it all the time so that it doesn't burn and start forming lumps. You can see when the white sauce starts to thicken by mixing it so that you get some on the sides and you can see it kind of stays there and also you will notice by how the whisk whisks <laughs> the sauce so you can see the pattern of the whisk and you can see the sauce is thickening up. So once it's thick and creamy you want to remove it from heat and add it in to the soup. So I had to change the pot that I'm using because I was running out of space and I could have not added in the white sauce. I switched to a bigger one and you can see it's really rich 
all of the rest of the ingredients are already cooked through so now I'm gonna add in the white sauce Okay, you want to add in the white sauce and mix it in well. The white sauce will add a really nice creaminess to the whole soup. Now we want all of these flavors to combine and so we are going to just allow the soup to simmer for a couple of minutes and then taste whether there is enough spices. So now the soup has been simmering for a little and I want to taste uh, the broth or the liquid of the soup just to make sure that it has enough flavor. So because I added the broth, my turkey broth to the soup and also my turkey was seasoned. The soup has a lot of flavor already and it's salty enough. So I'm not going to add any salt to it, but I want to add a little bit of black pepper and that's gonna be perfect and my soup is ready. As I showed you in the video, that's how I like to make soups. I like to prep all the vegetables so that they are all ready to go into the soup so I don't have to do the cutting while I'm actually making the soup makes it really easy and also more enjoyable. So I hope you will like this tip and will use it when you are going to be making soups. So if you find yourself in trouble after Thanksgiving and Christmas with all of the leftover turkey, then you should definitely try out this soup. It's delicious, it's so creamy and I absolutely loved it. If you thought this is a great way to use that leftover turkey, then you know what to do. Don't forget to show me that thumbs up so I know you like this video and this soup. And if you're new to my channel then don't forget to tap that subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss any new videos. Thank you for watching my video and happy holidays!